So we are going to discuss the properties of logarithms. Now, in indices, we know that when we have a situation where the when we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n, because they are multiplying, we add the index a raised to the power m plus n. So the same way when it comes to logarithm, and I have log a times b all to the base c, and they are multiplying. Again, we are going to add them. So this becomes log a to the base c plus log b to the base c. So for example, if I have log, let's say 12, okay, or log 6 times 2, let me use 6 times 2. So this is the same as log 6 plus log 2. Now if I should write logarithm without any base, it means it is in base 10. So log 6 times 2 to the base 10 is equal to log 6 to the base 10 plus log 2 to the base 10. Now when we talk about um, division, okay? Remember when we have a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power m became a raised to the power m minus n. The same way if I have log a over b all to the base c, this becomes log a to the base c minus log b to the base c. So an example of this would be if I have log um, log to the base 3, let's say 4 over 5. This becomes log 4 to the base 3 minus log 5 to the base 3. Now the third law, the third property says that if I have log a to the index b to the base c, the a has an index, okay? Now this becomes b log a to the base c. It comes to multiply the log of what? a c, a to the base c. So an example is if I have log a to the base 2, I can write this as log 2 raised to the power 3 to the base 2, okay? Because 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, which becomes 3 log 2 to the base 2. I think I have to get the next law and then I'll continue for you. In the next law, we say log a to the base a is equal to 1. So if I have log 5 to the base 5, this is equal to 1. Log 6 to the base 6 equals 1. Why? Because what power do I have to raise 5 to get 5? It's 1. Okay? 5 raised to the power 1 is 5. a raised to the power 1 is a. So log a to the same, log a to the base a is equal to 1. The log of a number to the same number is equal to 1. So over here, this becomes 3 times. So when we come to the third law, I started by log h the index b to the base c. This becomes, the b will come and multiply b log h to the base c. I have demonstrated it here, and I said log h to the base 2 can be written as log 2 to the power 3 or to the base 2. Now, looking at this, this is in this form. So I multiply this by 3, 3 log 2 to the base 2. Now, log 2 to the base 2 will give me what? 1, because log a to the same base is what? 1. So this will give me 3 times what? 1, which is equal to 3. So you realize that 2 is the power 3 will give us 8. Now, the fifth law is log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. Okay? Log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. Log 1 to any base is 0. Okay? Log 1 to any base is 0. Because a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Thank you.